Hi kids, it's Mrs. Gross, and I am happy that you tuned in to watch this little YouTube um, video where I wanted to tell you the Bible story that happened after Easter. Um, it's a great, it's a great story. I love it. And it reminds us to um, know that Christ is all around us. We just have to have eyes and ears to see and to hear. And this Bible story is a reminder of that, that if we pay attention, we will feel and hear the Spirit of Christ around us. Now, let me just tell you something that happened the other day. I was walking with my friend Kathy, and as we were walking, a woman walked by. Kathy was on one side of the street. I was on the other side of the street, of course. And this other woman came, and she walked up the middle. And we all remained very distant, you know, the safe distance. Um, and when she walked by, she had a face mask on, and so did Kathy and I. But there was something really familiar about her. And I thought, how do I know this person? I couldn't think of it. But as we were walking along, like a minute later, I stopped. And I went, ah, oh, I know who that was. That was my friend, Jean. And I hadn't seen Jean in at least 15 years, but something about her made me remember Jean. And um, I'm not sure exactly what it was, but there was something that said to me, ah, I know her. And so that brings me to the Bible story I want to tell you about. So we know at Easter, Jesus rose, right? He came, he, he rose from the dead, he came out of the tomb, and People were surprised and some were even frightened. They just didn't understand how that tomb could be empty. Um, but it was. And this Bible story is the story where Jesus appeared to a couple of his followers. Now we can find a Bible story in the book of Luke. And in another link, um, I will read that to you from the Bible. But I want to read you this children's story because I think it, tells the story really well for you, okay? This is the story of Jesus appearing to some friends. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, here we go. It says, the good news spreads. So, listen to this. Jesus' friends heard what happened. Could they really believe such a story? Two of them decided to leave Jerusalem and go to a village called Emmaus. As they walked, they met a stranger on the road, and he started talking to them. We thought Jesus would bring God's kingdom to us, they told him sadly, but he was put to death. Our scriptures talk about how God's chosen one had to suffer, replied this, the stranger. If Jesus was the chosen one, it had to happen that way he said. And soon they reached Emmaus, and the travelers invited the stranger in for supper. The stranger broke the bread to start the meal and gave thanks to God. And as he did, they gasped. The stranger was Jesus. In our Bible story, the story told by Luke, the people who were on the road to Emmaus didn't recognize Jesus. They heard this stranger tell the story of what was going to happen or what had to happen to Jesus in order for him to reach his glory. And they were surprised that the stranger didn't know what had happened to Jesus, but Jesus was explaining to them what had to happen. And it wasn't until they got to Emmaus and stopped and had dinner together where they broke bread. Jesus broke the bread and thanked and gave thanks for the bread. It wasn't until then that th those people, those followers of Jesus, realized that they were in the presence of Jesus. And you know, that's why I wanted to tell you the story of my friend Jean. I didn't realize that that was Jean. I didn't recognize her, but something familiar about her made me stop and think. And that's the story 
here too, the road to Emmaus. This, those strangers didn't, those men didn't know who that stranger was, but it wasn't until he told the stories and broke bread and gave thanks that they realized who they were with. It was familiar to them. And they realized oh, that was Jesus. What a huge surprise that had to have been, right? The good news is that Jesus did rise. And the other good news is that Jesus is with us always. And when we are Christ-like, when we are kind and thoughtful and loving and compassionate and forgiving, when we are Christ-like to other people, to all people, then we keep the spirit of Christ alive because that is what Christ asked us to do, to be Christ-like, to love and care for one another, to help other people. And when we do that, we keep the spirit of Jesus alive. So I want you to remember that, okay? In your world, I want you to find ways that you can be helpful. Find ways that you can show kindness and love and compassion. And when you do that, the Holy Spirit lives with you and other people experience Christ through you. So that's our story of the road to Emmaus. Now, the next time we meet, I'm going to tell you what we're going to be doing next. And I think you're really going to like it. I'm very excited about it. So until we see each other again, I want to say, may the peace of God be with you. Please stay safe, wash those hands, and have a really good day. I'll see you soon. I love you, and I miss you all so much. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.